Why is a Biravi tribal person sometimes stripped of his clothes and is made to wear the blood soaked hide of a freshly slaughtered sheep or goat? Why do Biravis first time shave the heads of their children at the shrine of a saint? How do Biravi tribal elder women check the virginity of a bride on the wedding night? And what happens to the bride if she is found not to be virgin? Friends, if you want to learn about these weird but very interesting tribal customs and traditions of the Dravidian Bravi tribes of Pakistan, you must read this interesting book, The Life History of a Bravi, written by Sir Dainsbury. Hi friends, this is Sikandar Brohi. I am a writer and author of six books. Born and raised in the tribal society of Pakistan, I challenged the tribal traditions, educated my children and now enjoying a peaceful life, uh, reading great books and sharing my life experiences. If you are new to my channel, I would recommend you subscribe to it as we can be connected to share the learnings from the great books. Friends, Sir Dainsbury is regarded as the father of Bravi grammar and lexicography. His research on the Bravi language serves as a reference for the scholars working on this ancient language of the Indus civilization. Sir Dainsbury joined the Indian Civil Service in 1898 and served up to the retirement in 1930. He was posted in former Kalat state which is now known as Baluchistan province of Pakistan in 1903. There he began to learn the Bravi language. Within a short period of time, Bray not only learned Bravi language but also fully mastered it. In 1907, his first book, The Bravi Language Part 1 Introduction and Grammar was published. And in 1916, Sir Dainsbury was appointed as Deputy Foreign Secretary and was also made Private Secretary to the Viceroy in 1918. Friends, next year he was posted as Joint Secretary and served on this post up to his retirement in 1930. Friends, this book of Sir Dainsbury, The Life History of Abrahi was first published in 1913. Sir Dainsbury has documented all the interesting customs and traditions of Bravi tribes from the birth of a child to the death of a tribal person in this book. Friends, it's one of the comprehensive books on the tribal customs, traditions and culture of the Dravidian Bravi tribes of Pakistan. After writing this book, Sir Dainsbury continued his work on Bravi language. In 1934, his book The Bravi Language Part 2 Bravi problem and the Bravi language part 3 Bravi etymological vocabulary was published. Another book of Sir Dainsbury, Bravi Tales was also published in 1939. Sir Dainsbury died in 1951. His book, The Life History of a Bravi, covers so many Bravi customs and traditions. For example, what happens if a married Bravi woman does not bring a child for so many years. According to Sir Dainsbury, if a married young woman does not bring a child for many years, she will pitifully entreat a mullah or a holy man or some wandering beggar to give her amulet or charm for her need. Interestingly, she makes a vow that she will sacrifice such and such several sheep or shave the child's head or shear off one of her traces Yes, one of those traces that are the glory of a woman or do this or that at the shrine of a saint. However, when all such efforts do not bring a, a child into the womb of a Bravi woman, she would make a vow of selling her to be born child as a slave. The book reads, she will make a vow that if the Almighty will but remember her and open her womb, she will sell the child as a slave in his name. She may undertake to do it once and for all on the last Wednesday of the Islamic month of Safar after the birth or she may undertake to do it yearly on that day for as many as seven years or more or even until she dies. And the child is sold and bought back. But the money for which it was bought and sold is given in alms in the name of God. 
Friends, Sir Dansbury also discloses that even the then king of Bravi tribes known as Khan of Kalat was also sold every year by his mother as per her vow. Sir Dansbury documents the interesting story narrated by the Kalat state officer Mirza Sher Mamand Zahri Bravi. He discloses that 15 years back it was I that sold his highness for I was then in his private service. Early on the morning of last Wednesday of the Islamic month Safar, I was summoned into the presence and the Khan's mother put a halter around the Khan's neck and the end thereof she placed in my hand and bade me go forth and sail the Khan. For he was a slave that God had bestowed upon her. So I took the rope and forth I laid my ruler for all the world as if I had a camel in tow. The book narrates the interesting story as to how the Khan was regularly sold in the mosque near the castle of Bravi Khans. It's a worth reading story, friends. Friends, Sir Densbury then documents several very interesting customs and traditions of Bravi tribes on the birth of a child. According to the book, as soon as a son is born, they break the news. They break the news and a deal of fuss they make over it to the father who is waiting without. Forthwith, he fires three shots with his gun or happily five or seven or nine or even eleven. Friends, another interesting custom of Bravi tribes about the newly born child is that his or her head is first time shaved at the shrine of any saint. I, being a Biravi, still remember my childhood playing with my fellow Simal kids having long hair. Only because their parents had no resources to travel to the shrines of saints in the remote areas of Balochistan to hold the ceremony of shaving the heads of their children. Sardin Spray writes in his book, With drums and other music, they take the child to the shrine of a saint. At the shrine, they shave the child's head and offer up their prayers and leaving sweetmeats and money for the attendants of the shrine they make their way back to their house for the feast that awaits them friends the book has also documented very interesting traditions related to the engagements and marriage in Bravi tribes in the chapter on customs about marriage the book also talks about the about one of the anti-girl traditions. Based on this unfortunate tradition, girls are sometimes killed on their wedding night. Friends, let us discuss this tradition. Like many other ancient tribes, there is a tradition among the Bravi tribes of ensuring the bridal virginity of girl when she is married. This is checked by spreading a white cloth sheet on the wedding bed on the wedding night. In the dead of night, this white cloth sheet is checked by the elder woman belong to the families of both the bride and groom. If they see blood stains on the white sheet, they believe that the bride was virgin up to the wedding night. If there are no blood stains, it means that she had already lost her virginity before her wedding, which according to the tribal tradition is liable to death. Unfortunate. Sir Dainsbury writes in his book, and the moment it's all over, he, the groom, calls the old ladies in. They don't stand on the order of their coming, but hasten in and eagerly scan the bridal apparel for the token of virginity. And if the stains are all she could wish, great is the exaltation of the mother of the bride. Aloft, she holds the cloth in triumph and displays it with the pride to each lady in turn and the cloth is treasured by the mother for its her glory. Friends, one of the chapters of the book covers the illnesses and their traditional Bravi treatment methods. One of such traditional tribal treatment methods greatly interested me because in my childhood I had also seen my father using that treatment against the long standing fever and resultantly he had also recovered from that illness. It's the tradition of silk cunning. It means covering the sick person completely in the hide of a freshly slaughtered goat or sheep. The book reads, In the morning we slaughter a sheep or goat and flay it. 
then we strip the sick man of his clothes in a room screened from every breath of wind forthwith we wrap him in the hide still warm from the flame and over him we pile blankets and rugs that hide may suck out the distemper in the sweat of his body as he lies in a sound slumber and at the midday or sunset he issues from the hide and dons his clothes all unwashed and unwashed he must remain for full 3 days friends the other interesting aspects of the lives of brahmi tribes covered in this book include the traditions about the possession of evil spirits customs and traditions practiced on the death and the burial of a brahmi customs related to the mourning the death and the traditions associated with the souls of the dead friends in fact this is very interesting book I would highly recommend the friends who are interested to learn about the tribal customs and traditions of the ancient Brahmi tribes of Pakistan, Afghanistan and Iran must read this book. I am leaving the link to the book in the description box for you to purchase it online from Amazon. Friends, thank you very much. This is the end of the review of this interesting book. If you enjoyed this video, please give it thumbs up and subscribe to this channel friends see you soon with a review of another great book until then bye bye